All right, this is going to be a very quick and simple um, fix for Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, not launching on Windows 10. Um, if you are having this problem, you're probably used to this happening where you click on the game to go into it. It'll launch, you're like, ooh, it's going to work, and then it crashes. Um, so this is Jedi, Ac uh, Jedi Academy single player stopped working. And you just click close, and you're like, well, I can't play the game. Well, after doing a bit of research, I have figured out a way to do it. and um, you're going to want to go to this site here that I'm on, and I will link it in the description so you don't have to type that all in. Um, and once you're on this site, you will just click download. And it'll download. Just got to give it a little bit. Alright, and then you're going to want to click show all in the bottom right. Alright, once you're on this screen, um, you're going to click show in folder. And then when you're in that, when it's in the um, file explorer, just drag this to your desktop and close the file explorer. Okay, now from here you're gonna want to right click on it, click extract all, press extract, and it'll extract the files. And then um, this will open. If it doesn't automatically open, then you would just double click on this file you just extracted. Then you click on GL Direct 5, double click on bin, double click on release, and then you will come across this open GL32.ddl file. Then from here, you're going to want to go around to your bottom um, where all your uh, applications are pinned. If it's not here, uh, well, if it is here, then just right-click it and go to File Explorer, so you'll open another screen. But if it's not, then just type in File Explorer uh, in this bottom left uh, search box, and then click on that, and then that'll come up. But um, from here, what you're going to do is scroll down on this side um, bar here, and then click on your C drive, go to Program Files x86. Now, um, there's two different directories for the um, Steam and disk version. I have the Steam version, but I'm going to show both anyway. Um, if you have the disk version, you would go to LucasArts. There would be a folder that would be called Jedi Academy. And then you click on that, and then you go to Game Data in that folder. And then you'd um, put that this file into that folder. But if you have the Steam version, you would go down to Steam. And scroll down and go to Steam Apps. Go to Common, go to Jedi Academy, go to Game Data, and then all you have to do is drag this file into your Game Data folder. And now the game will work. And just to prove it, I will launch the game so you can see for yourself. Also, I have it running in widescreen right now. Uh, I'll hopefully have a video for that coming. But as you can see, it uh, clearly works. Very simple, uh, very easy. And I hope this video helped you. If you have any more issues with this, um, it's still not launching for some reason, uh, comment below and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and uh, goodbye.